last case, because I know we're going to run out of time here in a second, is a real interesting case that kind of goes back to the metabolic one that we talked about earlier. So this is you know, a guy in his mid-40s who's quite healthy, but he does have elevated blood pressure. And he'd been diagnosed long before we had seen him with essential hypertension, which is just another word for hypertension of an unknown etiology. Nobody could figure out why his blood pressure was elevated, but it was clearly elevated. So when he would log his blood pressure twice daily, it was ranging from 140 over 90 to 160 over 90. So when he came to us, he was taking lisinopril, which is an ACE inhibitor, and that was bringing him down into the 120s to 130s over the 80s to 90s, which is still higher than I would like for a 46-year-old, especially if he's interested in longevity. And in the case of this patient, he actually had a positive calcium score. So there was even more reason to be aggressive with respect to his blood pressure management just based on the lipids. But again, it's important to reiterate, this is a guy that on paper looked really, really good. And if you looked at him in person, he looks great. He's very muscular and lean. He runs and exercises six days a week. Um, he's doing all the right stuff, eats all the right stuff. But his uric acid was 6.1, and it was quite stubborn. Never went down. No matter what we did dietarily, tweaking protein levels, reducing fructose, didn't matter. Could not get his uric acid below 6. It was always between 6 and 7. And again, just to make a plug for the Rick Johnson podcast, if people haven't heard it, Rick makes an exceptional case as to why you want that number lower. And again, internally, we have been targeting five. So we finally put him on Euloric. And I got to be honest with you, I don't remember if we put him on allopurinol first and he had a reaction to it or what the reason was. But nevertheless, we put him on Euloric and that fixed uric acid. He was now in the mid fours and he had to come off his blood pressure medication and his blood pressure normalized. So we took the uric acid from 6 point, call it one down to say 4.1 and he no longer needed the ACE inhibitor and without any other change. This is not a guy who gained weight, lost weight, made any other meaningful change even in his exercise, but his blood pressure now is sort of 120 over 80. And that's, I think, to set expectations, a pretty unusual response to just lowering uric acid. But it's also a great teaching point that says, don't go after blood pressure until you've fixed uric acid. Get that uric acid below five and then start playing with the blood pressure medication if you need it. But I mean, the broader point is try to fix the insulin resistance and metabolic syndrome first, which in this case he didn't have, but he did have the elevated uric acid before you go after the knee-jerk and easy reaction, which is here's a drug to treat blood pressure. Thank you for listening to today's sneak peek AMA episode of The Drive. If you're interested in hearing the complete version of this AMA, you'll want to become a member. We created the membership program to bring you more in-depth exclusive content without relying on paid ads. Membership benefits are many, and beyond the complete episodes of the AMA each month, they include the following ridiculously comprehensive podcast show notes that detail every topic, paper, person, and thing we discuss on each episode of The Drive. Access to our private podcast feed. The Qualies, which are a super short podcast, typically less than five minutes, released every Tuesday through Friday, which highlight the best questions, topics, and tactics discussed on previous episodes of The Drive. This is particularly important for those of you who haven't heard all of the back episodes. It becomes a great way to go back and filter and decide which ones you want to listen to in detail. Really steep discount codes for products I use and believe in, but for which I don't get paid to endorse and benefits that we continue to add over time. If you want to learn more and access these member-only benefits, head over to peteratiamd.com forward slash subscribe. Lastly, if you're already a member, but you're hearing this, it means you haven't downloaded our member-only podcast feed where you can get the full access to the AMA and you don't have to listen to this. You can download that at peteratiamd.com forward slash members. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, all with the ID Peter Atia MD. You can also leave us a review on Apple Podcasts or whatever podcast player you listen on. 
This podcast is for general informational purposes only and does not constitute the practice of medicine, nursing, or other professional healthcare services, including the giving of medical advice. No doctor-patient relationship is formed. The use of this information and the materials linked to this podcast is at the user's own risk. The content on this podcast is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Users should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice from any medical condition they have, and they should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions. Finally, I take conflicts of interest very seriously. For all of my disclosures and the companies I invest in or advise, please visit peteratiamd.com forward slash about, where I keep an up-to-date and active list of such companies. Mm-hmm.